This morning I'm at the field again with the FRC Foamies F22 mid mount, and uh, this, I'm testing out the uh, what the effect the sculpting has. I've uh, taken the sander and sculpted all the sharp edges, made it as sleek as possible. Not only does it look good, but I've always found that the nicely sanded plane flies better through the air. And also I'm trying out the EMP 6x4 prop. Uh, I want to try some of the EMP props on the RC Timer 2826 motor and see uh, how they fly. I've also got a 6x3 that I'll try after this. <laughs> Those EMP props, even though I balanced it, it still sounds out of balance. Great vertical. find that the uh, thrust vectoring is not as consistent with the EMP. Even though the uh, speed is good, I have less control with the uh, slow flying with high alpha, for example. All right, we've got the 6x3 prop on here now. That's pretty darn good speed for a prop like this, 6x3. All right, well, that's a good indication. The 6x3 does give some pretty good speed, less vertical performance. Uh, the 6x4 gives more vertical performance, about the same amount of speed. But uh, the motor on this is just warm now compared to the hot motor on the 6x4. Um, the flight time is much greater on the 6x3 than the 6x4. But both these uh, EMP props, uh, they seem to spread the thrust over the tail of the plane more so that it's less directed 
over the thrust vectoring vanes, whereas the APC gives me a lot of control in slow flying. And I think I found that on uh, Boxer Mad 84's F-16 when I first took that out too. I did a test between APC and EMP, and I think I found the same exact thing with that plane, now that I think about it. But anyway, the plane flies great. The sanding really seems to make a difference. You can, less, uh, you can hear less of the wind resistance when it goes by. And I think it's ready for paint. We'll be working on the plans soon. And hopefully we can have both the tail mount, the uh, rear mount plane with the thrust vectoring mount, and this uh, mid mount done together.